the first episode of my Shrewsbury Road to Glory career mode. As you can see the squad right there, I will be changing it up once we get right into it. So semi-pro, four minutes, not the best FIFA player I could tell y'all. And yes, there will be Champions League and all that. I'm not in it, of course, but it will be going on. So as it's downloading the latest updates, I am getting ready to get this career mode going. Um, putting in my name, you know, getting all ready for it. And here we go from England. I look good in a gray suit in this game, so. Shrewsbury appoint gamer for life as new boss. Well, let's get straight into it. Hopefully I can help deliver everything this club is hoping for. Um, so, as they tell me about Javi Alonso, who I don't care for. He's old and he's terrible. So, as soon as his face gets off the screen, we can get right into this. Transfer negotiations. There will not be any played games in the first episode. They will be simming the three career, I mean, three friendly games, sorry. Um, as we set the save, and I started one earlier just to see what, trans what players I should buy during the transfer window in August as we look at the Domestic Cup round of 32. Hmm, I can do that. Defensive midfielder, introducing myself, blah, blah, blah. League objective to win the league title. Well, I don't know if I can do that, but we'll see. As I go to the squad and I, five defenders, I'm like, what? Um, so I think I'm going to choose a 4-3-3 maybe. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go 4-3-3. Uh, probably this one, yeah. And Collins, Akpo, Akpo Grant, I want to put Barnett there. Uh, Dimitri Ellis comes out for Southern. Let's see, who else do I want? Uh, I think this is who I go with. Yeah, this is who I'm going to go with. And let's see. So, yeah. So far, this is what I'm going to stick with and let's see what else transfer negotiations let's get right into it we're gonna acquire about a few players um change our finances a little let's see we want to have about a million let's say a million dollars and four thousand about yeah that's good um, so the first player I think I'm going to do is Kellen Acosta. Yeah. And he plays for FC Dallas. He's, he's speedy. He is just, he's amazing. I mean, he's just one of the best growing center defensive mid that I've ever seen from coming out of the MLS. And as we're searching here for Martin Odegaard, I just can't seem to find him, which is not good. And so as I search him up here, I finally find him. There he is. And I am choir. And I'm pretty sure they're going to want a big price because he's already around 65 overall. And so they're going to want a lot of money for him. Hopefully not. Luke Cawson, I'm hoping they will not say anything above a million. Because he looks like a very young, promising player. And then the last player is Leia, Aaron Leia Iseka. And 16 years of age. And he's like already 60-something overall. And he looks like a really good youth player. Young player, should I say. Not a region. Um, so they want 625. Odegaard and 
Lucasen and Iseka are very expensive, so I will not be offering for them. I will try to offer for Odegaard, maybe. Maybe do about a million. But as I offer 600k for a Costa, I'll see what they say. Maybe they'll accept. Hopefully they'll accept. And here, offering for Martin Odegaard, we're going to offer about 1 million, I get. I think. Yeah, a million. And as we offer a million, we look at these two prices and it's not worth it. In my opinion, they should be worth like 400000 But here I'm going to look for players to sell. And one player I want to sell is Grandison. Because I need money to be able to afford other players. And that's just what I'm going to have to do. I can start Ellis. They're the same overall. Almost the same age, but Burton, his potential is around 80, so I put him on loan. Hopefully he'll come back and at least be a 60, and then he'll start next season, maybe. But as I go through, I'm noticing every player is saying, recently joined the club. So I'm like, Shrewsbury, what were you thinking buying like 59 overall players? They don't look promising. Like, why would you even waste your money on these dudes? But then I notice one player says interest shown by Wickham. Hopefully they'll offer around three hundred fifty for him, maybe. But so we'll see though. So as we go through here, we've listed a few for loan and a few on the transfer list. And now we're gonna after we've offered some people, well put them on the transfer list I should say I'm going to tell them they just need to leave like I hope this doesn't really be fush frustrating like I never when I put people up on the transfer list I never get offers I, I just never get offers and it's just really annoying and I'm going through here I'm finding all the like 18 19 year olds who won't ever play this season and listing them for loan or for transfer if they don't look promising. Some of them look more promising than others. I don't need like 10 center backs, so I put Smith on the transfer list. I really want to put Southern on the transfer list. He's 33. He wants to retire. I mean, it's not ideal for him to be on the team, I should say. And. As we advance a few days, we get a transfer offer for Mandarin, who, of course, is from Wickham, and it's a hundred above his value. Yeah, man, sure you can leave. Even though he was happy, but I don't really care. So they reject, but Kellen Acosta offer has been accepted by FC Dallas, and I'll offer him five years, crucial first team player, 2000 a week. And hopefully he'll come to the team be the first Shrewsbury signing of this career mode and so as we go a few more days we see man mandarin i think was his name has been sold and we bring in kellen acosta i can't wait to play with this youngster in league two hopefully by the time we get promoted if we get promoted then maybe he'll be 66 hopefully i know Akpa Akpro will go up a few, hopefully. Collins, he's looking good right now, 65 overall. But I want to try to sign a striker around maybe 68 overall because I don't really like Barnett in the squad. So I'm going to switch him, hopefully with a new striker that I can bring in. But we'll see about that. Sim a few more days. Acosta leaves FC Dallas on the cheap. It's not really cheap when you only have like $800,000 and you pay most of your money for them. So, as we're advancing days, I'm not getting any offers for any players. And I, I looked and I was like, wait, don't I have like eight players on the list? So I think a, a few more 
players. Um, they're both American, and both of them have high potentials. One is Julian Green, and the other is Jedian Zalalum. And so as we offer for Julian Green, we inquire. Hopefully they'll give us a reasonable price, not something like three million for some like sixty nine overall. And Zalalum's only sixty five, so that should be in our price range. Hopefully. We have six hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand, I think. And they come back and say two point four and one point six. And then we get a message from Southern. He wants to retire. Isn't that just swell? So as we offer, we say we'll give you, we'll give you seven hundred thousand for both players. If they accept, they accept. If they don't, I'm not pursuing them. And then after I know, I don't have enough to pay their wages, so I know they're gonna reject because I don't have enough wage budget. Even if they do accept the transfer offer, which I highly doubt they will. So as we go on. I'm thinking of different players that I've seen, and one comes to mind, Rodney Wallace. He is pacey right midfielder, or, or left midfielder, sorry, for Portland Timbers. I've seen him play in Portland, and he was just so dang fast. I just knew I, I needed a pacey player. Acosta's relatively pacey. I like to sign pacey players. I don't like people like Murdasacker with 34 pace or whatever he has. And they have rejected for Wallace. Oh, no, they rejected for Julian Green. But we're as we send the first match against Aberdeen in the Scotland Premier League, I think, or the maybe they're in the Irish League. Irish League, but we lose to Nell. Not a great start to the season, but as Portland reject the offer and Mangan is out two days, so that's I, I was hoping not to see like two months. And I looked at Southern and I just was getting very mad that I could not sell him because I needed more money. I don't need a 33-year-old, oh, 63 overall, sitting in the reserves who's worth a decent amount of money. And I don't want to just have him sit there. I want some money for him. So as we look through the squad... You can see that just every player pretty much has recently joined the club. So I have a few for loan and a few on the transfer list. Hopefully we can get some offers as we come up in the second friendly against Wilhelm. Wilhelm, I think the name is. As Josh Ginnelly, who looks like a very promising youngster, is loaned out. Hopefully come, coming back to the team, he will be better. So as we see Wallace has been, the offer has been rejected, we go back and offer the same amount. Hopefully this time they will accept. I don't know if this will work. As after I submit, I notice his wages, and then I notice again I cannot pay his wages. So Wallace is out of the picture. I think of another player. His name is Alvis Powell, from also from Portland Timbers. He's a pretty pacey right back and we might offer him I don't know I can't seem to remember what overall he is as we lose to Wilhelm 1-0 I thought we would have a chance at winning that game I hope I just don't get fired because I lost maybe lost all three friendly so I'm just really hoping for a draw or a win as Portland rejects again because they ex accepted offers from two other teams who are both much better than you. That's for sure. So we, as I think we're going to look up Alvis Powell. Yes, we are. Um, Alvis Powell, Portland Timbers right back. He's has a potential that is relatively higher than his overall. 
so he could be a good player to sign. And we offer 500000 Hopefully they'll accept. Maybe they won't. Maybe they will. And we send a few more days towards the friendly match. The last friendly. And another offer has been made for Wallace. So that's three offers. So... As we play this game, and we win, Colin scoring two goals. Whew. We had lost, man. This could have been the end of this series after episode one. That would have really not been the best start I've ever had. As we were going to offer 600, but then we decide he is not worth it. So we are going to look for a free transfer striker, hopefully maybe around 80 for pace, hopefully. And I remember this man I've signed before, named like Kun Ho, and I don't remember how to spell his name, so I cannot find him. So then I just search up free agents that are strikers, and when I do that, I search it. Maybe I'll find somebody good. Hey, this man looks good up at the top. Hopefully, he looks pretty, hopefully, fast. I'm going to look at this guy. Ah, it's not good. Whoa. He's got some pretty good pace. He looks good to me. I'll try to sign him. 15,000 wage. Must mean he's a relatively good player. Hopefully, above 68. That's what I'm hoping for. As we sim... You'll simulate a few days towards the first league game, which will happen in the next episode. And they have accepted. I put him on the squad as soon as possible, just to see his overall. As I look down to the bottom, I see 69. And wow, I'm just so glad that we could sign a 69. You're, you're probably thinking, wow, 69, that's terrible. Well, he's the best player on the team now, so. And this is where I'm going to end the episode. The next game, the first game will be in the next episode. This is Gamer for Life. See ya.